What's up everybody, it's Mvix here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Saturday vlog day. Uh, it's a lazy afternoon. But the highlight of the day is Chinese lunch. Let's see how it goes. Currently, I'm with Chloe. Hi, Chloe. Hello. And we're gonna try some Chinese food. So, let me be honest with you guys. I used to think that the Manchurian and Chicken Shizwan that we get in the Indian street food scene is authentic Chinese. And later I found out that it's nowhere close to that. So, Chloe was kind enough to take me and introduce me to some good Chinese food. And, Chloe, do you think that. Uh, you get some good authentic Chinese food here in Paris or? Definitely. Yeah. So have you been to this restaurant before that we are going? Yes, I always go there mm -hmm. uh, with my family friend. Yes, I'm quite excited to try this food. Uh, really hungry as well. <laughs> Let's go check it out. So what's your experience with Chinese food? I've only had Ri Cantone from uh, Traitor Chinois. Uh -huh. So I have no idea what authentic Chinese food like. <laughs> okay, okay. And Leo, do you enjoy Chinese food? I love it. And I've actually been to China. So uh -huh. this is like a little uh, throwback to my <laughs> vacation. I am very excited to share Cantonese food with my friends. Okay, so today it's going to be predominantly Cantonese food. Uh, right now we have like some Chinese beer with us. The food is going to come quite excited. You can share one, it's fine. So this is kind of like a rice noodle with some meat and vegetables. That's pork over there, that's taro and that's vegetables. <laughs> so this is something very uh, unique. You know, Josh, when we go to restaurants in India, we never order vegetable. At least I've never ordered vegetables and restaurants. If I'm paying for it, it's yeah, rather yeah. It's, it's rather I meat. I think it's more like a girl thing. Like, we yeah. order vegetables. It doesn't look like chicken feet. So what's that, Josh? It's chicken feet. Uh -huh. I'm so excited. I've tried it once and I feel it's very like fleshy and you have nice juicy flesh uh -huh. but there's like many bones inside so you yeah, just need to yeah, put it in your mouth to take out the stuff and yeah, throw it The bamboo? Yeah, this one. Oh, shishir Josh. Shishir. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's so good. I feel as long as you visualize the food, if you're thinking that it's chicken feet and you visualize the picture on your head, then it feels difficult to eat. But when you actually taste it just as a food, it's really good. So the guy just wrote down some numbers on the table so that he doesn't forget that the order is going to come here. And you know what this reminds me of, Josh? What does it remind you of? Uh, remember when we used to write exams? <laughs> God, that was amazing food. That was really tasty. Thank you so much, Chloe. You're welcome. Absolutely loved it. The thing is, like, the food is so diverse and it's so different compared to what I have experienced as traditional Chinese food. Uh, I think the food that we get in India as Chinese food, it's totally different. I would say it's more like Indo-Chinese rather than Chinese food. Uh, there could be some influence, but it's definitely not authentic Chinese. But yeah, what an amazing experience and what a wide variety of food. And even I noticed that the food from the south of China and from, you know, the different parts of China is totally different. It's not the same. Yes, the yeah? food today uh, we tried was uh, Cantonese food. Mm -hmm. So the flavor will be more light. Yeah, I agree. It's more light. It's more... And less spicy. Soulful, yeah, less spicy as well. I think food is an amazing part of this whole international student experience, you know. 
I barely got to experience these kind of food and these different traditions back in India. But here I'm exposed to so many people, uh, so many classmates from different parts of the world. And yeah, food, it's something that connects people and it's something that I feel everyone should try and experience. Go there, don't be afraid to try new food. Huh? Food speaks about a person's culture, a person's tradition and I think trying new food is a way to develop a connection and make new friends. Yeah. So with that being said, that's all for this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, then hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and I will catch up with you all in the next one. Till then, goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.